Javier is a first-time caller out of uh, Dallas, Texas. Javier, thanks for calling, sir. You're on the air. How's it going, Jesse? Uh, all one, this well, sir. One, I am. Uh, I, I was born in Mexico, but I was born in Mexico, Mexican as it is. <laughs> uh, Democrat, very Democrat. Yes. But <laughs> lately, I, I've been listening to you, and I'm like, man, this man. At the beginning, I was like, I, I thought you were crazy. <laughs> I really did, man. And uh, I was like, wow, this guy's not afraid to tell nobody nothing. And he tells them in the face, even the people that oppose them. And I started listening. I was like, wow, all right, let me listen to this guy. And then, you, uh, you know, you started making sense. I, you make sense. I guess you've been making sense all the time, but <laughs> I didn't want to hear it. That's right. Um, like I said, I voted liberal because I, I am a U.S. citizen. Now. Right on. But. Even though I became a U.S. citizen, I, I was blaming white men for everything. Because I'm around my uh, Hispanic people, black people. It's all about what I was like. Shit. But at the beginning, I was like, I thought it was all right. But I'm like, damn. After a while, I'm like, are we more racist? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are we? I don't get it. I was like, yeah. damn. I, we're saying, and uh, but you know one thing? If we're leaving from Mexico, I started thinking we're leaving because it's bad over there and i keep yes. on going back and it's still bad yes I'm like, why would i want america to be like that if i'm running away from that that does not make no sense yes sir and uh but I, you know and you know what deep down um a lot of hispanics when we get together now we can't say it out loud because we get uh, we 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 bully we yeah we um and that's what i did also when people would say trump i would be man you you coon you this you that and yes this. But uh, deep, uh, lately, uh, Trump has been saying, uh, you know, he's been doing a lot of what all he's doing. Uh, all he's doing is what Mexico, Guatemala, Salvador would do. It's all for their people. Yes. They're protect Because how is it that if... Uh, Hold on Mexico for me, Javier. Like, I'm yeah. sorry, I got to take a break. Hold on. Javier, thank you for holding. Go ahead. Yeah, Jesse, like I was saying, but, um, you know, um, Mexico takes care of its own. Salvador, all of them. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's funny how when America does it, it's racist. I, uh, you know, at the beginning, you know. Uh, but you know why people from El Salvador, Guatemala, they, they hate crossing through Mexico uh, because we're very harsh to them. And <laughs> you know how uh, Mexican government always say it have, uh, have heart, have this. It's always through America because it's easy to pick up in America. It's so easy. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But when the people from other countries, we're... <laughs> Mexico is, and you know why they give them maps and all that? Because Mexico doesn't want to pay for none of that. Yes. Mexico does not want to pay for none of that because it's going to cost money. You know, now they'll give the visas to the people that have money, like anything else. But all them people, oh no, they're giving them maps, you know, and that is true. So well, that made me, yeah. So the people from, do the people from El Salvador, Salvador, like the people from Mexico? Do they get along? No, 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 they hate us. <laughs> People from El Salvador, when uh, um, Mexico and America plays, they go for America because they always say uh, uh, crossing the uh, American border, that's not the hard part. It's crossing Mexico. And, you know, you were saying another day, uh, that's why I, I kind of like you, man, because you say <laughs> some of the stuff that people would never say. When you say that black people are hated in Mexico, um, black people are like a third, we really, we call them names. Yes. I've called them names. Yeah. Me too. Me, me, me. Yo también. See, si, I'm Mexican. Yes. Me too. So when you say that, now we, we do it very down low, you know, because like I said, but we call, it's like we call them a lot of names. Yes. So whenever they say that we get along, yeah, we, we get along just out here in public, we say it. But deep down, even here in America, uh, we're like, we always say, man, a lot of these black people are lazy. Yeah. Gee, my goodness. I mean, everything. And, and you know, but the bad thing about it, that we're kind of, going back, uh, we're kind of following their lead because now we're, we're even me, I, now I am fussing. I was fussing, oh, this, I'm not getting this, I'm not getting that. Uh, I was following the lead and, and because I did, uh, you know, at one point, I even, we get, did get food stamps. And I Amazing. told my mom, hey, mom, don't, 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 don't get another job. We're not going to get this money. But she <laughs> said one thing. She said one thing. She's like, okay, <laughs> dummy, you know that if we stay in this, you're going to be in the worst schools. You're going to be in the ghetto, like 
well, you're always fighting. You're always saying that we live until she got a better job and all that. We, we, so, you know, good for your uh, mother, again, man. Yeah. Once again, as a Democrat, uh, I, I get it now that they want to, they give money, but they will, they're also going to keep you there. They're going to keep you there yes. because they know. And guess what? Yeah. I was like, I thank you. Thank you. I, I, and that's why I like the Democrat because I was like, they give stuff. And, but my mom was, uh, no, dummy, you know, you don't have a dad because of that, because that's the only reason I, I get all that. And remember, you were, you always keep on saying the dad is not there. And that's, yeah, because if my dad would get close to my mom, they would take all that away. Yes, that's and, right. Uh, Amazing. You know, so, Javier, yeah, yeah. it's a, you know, it's a, the liberals, the Democrats, the liberal media and others don't want blacks to know or don't want the world to know that blacks and Hispanics do not get along, that in Mexico blacks are second class citizens because they're, they're, they want to put up this class. they want to put up this false idea that people of color get along and it's not true. No, we don't. Uh, right. I went to jail as well, but guess guess who we were fighting? It was black and and Mexican. Yes. It was us. Yeah. It was, it was not the white. It was not the white. It was us. That's right, and we and and guess what? And we would say some of the harshest things to each other. Yes, uh, and uh, and you know, and, and I. How but, old you know, are you? Like I said, uh, I'm 35. But amazing. 35. So let me ask. Um, now, excuse me. Now that you're waking up, are I'm you waking uh, up early? Uh, are you speaking differently now to the folks around you? Are you putting the truth out there now? You know, one thing about us uh, Hispanics that when we're and, and our little thing. We, we, we say how it is. And and a lot of people in, in within our little circle, we're like, hey, man, Trump, ha uh, we like what he says. We just can't <laughs> say it out loud because then you got other people, hey, you're trying to be a coon. You think you're white. See, that's the bad thing about because we used to do it, too. We do it, too. Right. So we, well, I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. Now that you know the truth, you must speak the truth for a couple of reasons. Number one. It's going to draw you closer to God and amazing things will happen through your life because in speaking the truth, you're going to wake up other people. Just as you heard me speak after you listened right, and you right. paid attention and now you're waking up. And so if you put that out there, you always want to have an empty glass. And so yeah, as you're receiving yeah. love, which is true, you put it out there, you're going to get more and more and more. And you're yes. going to be doing what God wants you to do because he uses right. people, right? So you're going yes. to wake up those other guys and girls around you that they're going to hear. They may call you a name uh, in the beginning, yes. a coon or yes. whatever, but don't take it personally. They can't help it. I admire you for that, that you take it so easy. And then when you don't even say that, they, they, they're like not even mean to you because they're like, <laughs> this guy doesn't even say nothing. And another thing I want to tell you with the kids coming, you know what? It is very bad, man. Because yeah, yeah. It is very bad in this country. But I also, I also understood one thing about Trump. He, he did say on one thing. He's like, when, where does it stop? Yes. He's going to be, where does it stop? And it's true. When is it going to be up to our country? Like Mexico, Salvador, when when is it our government's uh, responsibility for us not to come over here? That's right. You know where does where does it stop? Like okay, you let this uh, kids in, which it, it is very bad. But then there's going to be two thousand more or kids. That it's going to say has, same story. So yes. where I get why the guy is kind of doing what he's doing. Amazing. Because you're right. Uh, if I let all these people in my house, eventually I'm like, hey, there's no more rooms, dude. I mean, what, what the hell? You know? Amazing. Uh, and, Harvey, uh, you have yeah. literally made my day, man. You have encouraged me to continue to speak the truth because people like you who are out there and you're young and you're hearing the truth and you're just going to spread it too. And someone else will hear, it, they will spread it and it's going to be amazing. It, it, you know what's the crazy thing, uh, Jesse? And since I'm uh, uh, Latin or Hispanic, Mexican, I can't even be called racist. I could say whatever the hell I want, Just, <laughs> and, and, and and I'm not afraid. See, That's I thought, right. Hey, man, I'm not white. You could put that on. White man has let themselves, <laughs> for whatever reason, and not. And I'm talking about the liberal. They let themselves be told whatever. I'm yeah. Mex. Ah, man, you're not. Gonna, you call me racist, man. I'll laugh at you. That's so right. Get the hell out of here. That's right. You know. Absolutely. And, uh, but Jesse, uh, I, 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 I do have some liberal stuff in me. 
but I've been, I used to be way to the left. Yes. But hey, man, hey, uh, hey. You're, I was to the I left, like too. Video. I was a liberal Democrat. I didn't care about abortion or anything else. But once right. I woke up, once God caused me to wake up, my values changed. So you're on your way. You're going to overcome all that liberal evil mess. And yeah. it just, <laughs> it's going to be hey, amazing, Jesse, man. Thank keep you. Keep on doing your thing, buddy. And uh, those videos are funny, and <laughs> but with truth. And you're not afraid even to, and I like when you go against other people that I used to agree with. Yes. And then they just kind of want to hug you because they they don't, they can't even say nothing to you. <laughs> I, like with the Amber, Amber Rose. Oh, my God. Ooh, that's what got me there, man. Yeah. But, hey, Jesse, I appreciate it. Oh, and another thing, Jesse, yes. one last thing. Yes. Once you start making money, you start voting a different way with the tax bracket. I, I, I subcontract for right. FedEx. I have my own truck. I make $100,000. I need all my money, and I used to think, let's give away, but when it's your money, you start thinking differently. <laughs> That's <buddy. laughs> right, man. Amazing. Javier, yeah. the, the, yeah. the reason, and you might, excuse me, hold on. Excuse me, my throat is dry here. You might already yeah, no, know but, this, that um, once you uh, wake up, you can't go back. So That's you're, the thing. You're on, your, friend, yeah. <laughs> you're on your way now. And you cannot go back because once you return to the Father, there's no return back to darkness. So God bless you, man. Hey, thank you, Justin. Keep up the good work, buddy. And, uh, I, I will. Keep, keep it up, man. Thank All you. Right. All right, buddy. Amazing. Bye. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Tell the truth, folks. The, the truth is greater than the lie. The lie has no authority at all. That's why I try to intimidate you. <laughs> 